busy, uh, or just before rush hour here, as we get into the top of the four o'clock hour, you can see there's a fair amount of traffic. And if he continues driving like this, especially through some of these red lights, then they're gonna have to pull back and rely on that helicopter to really be their eyes from up above. And at some point here, you're gonna see more local jurisdictions take part in this pursuit and potentially even CHP if they are requested. In the meantime, okay, there he is. Uh, he's turning onto, uh, I guess, Valley View Street, uh, Chris, but a lot of congestion in this area. A lot of congestion, and interestingly, this is the second time he's been on Valley View Street. So he's done something of a loop through this part of uh, the county, and that may provide, again, an opportunity uh, for some prediction here. Again, if they can establish a pattern, that's what they're looking for. If he comes back down Valley View Street and they can get units ahead of him, then maybe they can lay down a spike strip. But from my vantage point, he really appears to be driving too fast and too erratic. Uh, I, I just, I don't see them. They don't have the manpower down there to really triangulate in this ki kind of a situation, especially with all the, the traffic this afternoon. He's really uh, just off to the races here, 67 Gosh. miles per hour up Valley View Street, almost double the speed limit as he comes up on another busy mm. intersection, mm -hmm. through a red light there, not even slowing down, not even a sign of braking as he went right through that red light there. And now we're gonna start to see, I would imagine those lead units start to pull back slightly. It's going to be very difficult for them to keep up with him in this kind of traffic as he continues speeding through these intersections. Especially going 70 plus miles per hour in that big truck and, and the way he's just disregarding any kind of traffic stop signs or lights. It's a pretty dangerous situation. See him go through a few crosswalks as well. He's not going to be able to, to stop quickly either if he goes into another one of those intersections against a red light and there's something uh, oncoming mm -hmm. or you know coming across the freeway uh, excuse me the intersection that's yeah. gonna be terrible exactly yeah you can't i mean it's very you know driving these trucks on a, on you know under normal conditions yeah. is not like driving a regular car you know dr braking has to be very calculated you can't brake too hard you'll lose control of the vehicle and you certainly can't be uh you know swerving through intersections at a high rate of speed already on several occasions we've seen him make those wide turns extra wide turns occasionally even going into uh, partially into oncoming lanes of traffic fortunately the area that we're talking about here you're not going to see many pedestrians it's a pretty, um, it's, 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 a, it's a very uh, heavily trafficked vehicle area, but where we are now, just mm -hmm. south of Los Alamitos, is really uh, not very prevalent to see a lot of crosswalks as we make our way further towards the west here. Until he gets further towards downtown Long Beach, then we'll start to see some more commercial activity. But right now, he's got a straightaway here along Westminster Avenue and Balsa Chico Road as he continues to do about 75 miles per hour Fortunately, though, they've been able to keep up with him. Seal Beach still has that primary unit about a football field behind that truck. And Chris, do we know from where it was stolen? I, pardon me if, I, if we've already told me that. No, the uh, the original location, the original agency that began the pursuit was actually Manhattan Beach PD. So they've made their way through the South Bay here, starting near the beach mm -hmm. and uh, ending up all the way down near Seal Beach, which is where it sounds like Seal Beach PD took over this pursuit. I'm not sure if, Man if Manhattan Beach PD even has a unit in the pursuit still. I thought I saw one of their SUVs further back. We'll go ahead and widen out just a second. I think there is more than one agency in that conclusion conglomerate behind him. Uh, that is a Seal Beach primary unit. Uh, he's got at least two units, and both of them appear to be Seal Beach. So for right now, Seal Beach is the primary agency taking this over from Manhattan Beach PD, but so far not relinquishing this pursuit. They are still continuing to chase this guy down despite the dangerous driving uh, with only the help of that CHP helicopter. So he's moving further west here into an industrial area uh, just to the east of downtown Long Beach, again, making his way westbound on Westminster Boulevard. Again, two people inside of that truck, and we have no idea what they are hauling in the back. Always another variable when you're talking about these box trucks. We have no idea what the motivation is for this driver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there he is uh, flying by uh, as he continues to get into more congested traffic. That little straightaway was nice because you could tell it was wide open and there weren't a whole lot of people there. But now we're back to the crosswalks, to heavy traffic, and then this is when it gets really dangerous, Chris. 
Yeah, it's going to get more dangerous here. You can see some houses off to the left there. Mm -hmm. So a, a, co a combination of uh, residential neighborhoods up ahead here, as well as commercial businesses. And the further west he gets, the closer we're going to get to the busier parts of Long Beach. Uh, and I mentioned what may or may not be in the back. We have no idea what is in the back of this box truck. And it's a good possibility he may not even know what is in the back of that oh truck boy. either. Because oh this boy. is, wow. oh, he's oh almost come boy. in contact there right behind the tree. We'll see here if he made contact with that truck. He might have braked just in time. But I don't think uh, he made contact there. Close call, though, to say the least, behind that tree as he continues weaving through traffic here. Uh, further west, the further west we go, traffic is going to get a little bit busier. I was about to say this was reported to be a stolen U-Haul truck so he probably does not even know what is in the back of that truck so it, it, it matters what's in there because if it's an empty truck the truck will handle one way mm -hmm. if there's a lot of cargo in the back of that truck that's a whole different situation either way a very top heavy vehicle that is difficult to maintain control and oh, somebody's oh, look at this oh. this is going to get dramatically more dangerous here if he continues this behavior jumping over that center median, oh trying to lose those units, doing a U-turn, uh, and now going the opposite way. He's now turned around, made a crazy U-turn over that concrete median, and now going eastbound on 2nd Street in the direction he came from. This may prompt Seal Beach to ask for mutual aid here. They may begin asking for more units to help out in this pursuit. They are out of their jurisdiction here, but they are still the primary agency. California Highway Patrol, though, they've been monitoring this the whole time. Also, the LA County Sheriff's Department will likely have units in the vicinity as well. Another wide U-turn there, and now he's going back westbound once again. So uh, he clearly is uh, either making this up as he goes along or for some reason uh, thinks that these U-turns are going to lose police. But they are pretty much, uh, I don't want to say they're right on his tail. They're giving him a, a wide berth here. But uh, you're going to see a lot more traffic, as we're seeing right here, coming up uh -oh. on oh. Uh, another busy intersection. Yeah, right. let's see after how he maneuvers way through these uh, cars and if he's going to hit anybody. I don't think he's hit anybody so far, but we don't know for sure. But this type of driving, this erratic driving is certainly dangerous and best case scenario, if they could maybe do a spike strip and figure out a pattern if he starts yeah, driving around in some type of pattern, that's the best case scenario, I guess. It, it just seems like they don't have the personnel to do it unless mm -hmm. they do call for help, as Chris was saying. And then he did loop around twice, but you said he, they have been successful, at least Seal Beach units have been successful to basically stay, stay close to his tail, right, Chris? Right now, he just crossed the uh, the Long Beach Marina, and you're and then still, despite all of that weaving through traffic, I've spotted at least two or three units that have managed to keep up with him throughout all of this crazy driving. It's only going to get busier the further west we get, and my my uh, my worry is that the driving may start to get more aggressive, especially after you see him jumping medians and starting to do you know just really erratic driving like that. that. Here he is, oncoming lanes of traffic over the double yellow lines, a clearer glimpse now into the passenger seat, hard to make out. Uh, if that, pa it looks like the passenger is clutching on, I almost looks like she's clutching on to either a stuffed animal or a baby. I don't know what she's holding on to. She well, I think covering her face in terror. Something. Looks like yeah, that might baby be Baby covering her face, that, that could be it, yep. Yeah. Well, that could be scared. it. It was difficult to my see. I know you guys have slightly larger monitors than I yeah. do. You may have a better vantage point, but she is clearly holding something up She's holding against something. her face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the driving uh, wow. continuing oh, down through parking a parking lot, lot off of Pomona An Avenue, uh, behind a restaurant, through an alleyway here. Seal Beach pulling off slightly. But they are still very close. They haven't made that turn with him. But he is now speeding through an alleyway mm. behind Covina Avenue near 2nd Street, a commercial district, uh, and now making a right turn into a residential neighborhood just off of Corona Avenue. You can see the helicopter overhead circling. But what we don't see is those Seal Beach units that we saw just a minute ago uh, making these turns with them. Have they have they pulled back at all? They have. They pulled back uh, uh, quite a bit. They have. They've pulled out quite a bit. Qu pulled back mm -hmm. quite a bit here in the last 30 to 60 seconds. And now he is on his own through this residential neighborhood. CHP circling this stolen U-Haul. Uh, a desperate individual behind the wheel here, and to see that passenger covering her face 
if that's indeed what it, it did look like that, uh, it makes you wonder now what is going on with that person. Is, is this person being held under duress? Uh, what is going on? We can only imagine uh, what the situation is or how this started. But again, this is believed to be a stolen U-Haul. You can't even rule out the possibility that maybe uh, maybe this was a carjacking of some sort, and maybe the passenger is completely oblivious to who this person is who's driving this truck. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm speculating yeah. here, but anything is possible based on what we're seeing here. Certainly is. Is he going into some little residential neighborhood now, it looks like, or a cul-de-sac? Or Yeah, he may find a dead end in this neighborhood okay. here. It might, it might oh, be he's a circle. Over. He's pulling over, parking. Okay, he sees that there's going. nobody behind him. He sees a spot where he could dump the vehicle. He's going to walk away here, and the passenger is going to walk with him. The passenger is going to walk away with him. And okay. he is carrying, he or she is carrying uh, a lot of uh, a lot of something, a lot of bags uh, and clothing, oh, all boy. bundled up there, really hard to make out a oh. description. But now the driver going in one direction, uh, the passenger moving in a different direction. Now it's really only a matter of uh, seconds or short minutes before law enforcement pulls in here and takes these two down. They are not going to get very far. CHP has good eyes on these suspects. Let's go ahead and widen out just slightly to see if there's anybody in the area here. He's walking along the water. There's a channel that comes from the mm. marina here uh, at the uh, at the end of Elliott Street. There's a, a, a marina and now he is walking onto some rocks here there is not easy access for the cops to get here but here oh, they, are, they are pulling into a parking lot this will either become a foot pursuit unless he surrenders here in the next few seconds now yeah. walking towards those officers with his hands up that's a good sign certainly appears he's going to surrender uh seal beach now with their guns drawn as he assumes the position now proned out on the sidewalk and this has now come to an end again that passenger still outstanding uh, walking away from the scene with a, a, a lot of clothing and, and uh, I don't know if that was a shopping bag or whatever, but uh, one person still at large, the driver now being taken into custody at the end of Elliott Street near the marina here in Long Beach. Yeah, that went everywhere, all uh, these different cities, but again, we've said this many times before, but as dangerous as it appeared, we're lucky that uh, something more catastrophic did not happen. And then they had the, had the wherewithal to not only get out of the vehicle, but he gave up when the officers arrived, which is all good news. Yeah, it's still a question as to the uh, passenger and where he or she ended up uh, going, but I'm sure that person is not far away either. Yeah, at the end of the day, this certainly appears to have been a, a big joyride uh, for that driver. Really, no clear destination to mind, especially during, you know, towards the end of this pursuit, as he just kind of meandered into this neighborhood. Here's the passenger, who isn't even walking away anymore, just kind of hanging out there, loitering uh, along Paoli Way. Interesting. Uh, near yeah. Belmont Park is where this came to an end, and you'll see here. We will see uh, if they can get an officer over here to question or detain that suspect. But that person now uh, walking along. Uh, walking along the street here with uh, making a phone call. Yeah, clothing there. Phone. So we'll see. He's just kind of meandering around here. Something tells me they will catch up to him any second here. Fortunately, the driver in custody, nobody hurt during here, the here course comes. of this pursuit, but certainly some scary moments, especially towards the end, towards the end there. Um. Approaching police officer right here, uh, yep. slowly coming up to this person. Let's see if, yep. Yeah. Yep. I was going to say, may or may not be aware, but certainly appears Long Beach. Uh, that he is aware. He's being communicated with. Uh, ooh. Huh. Oh, maybe okay. not. Okay. Hmm. Police are aware, but that unit appears to have not been in the loop, perhaps. But police are aware of our sighting here along Apian Way and Monrovia Avenue, where this passenger is now on the phone. Again, just kind of meandering around the street here. Uh, somebody will make their way. It's just a block over from where the pursuit ended and where they took the driver into custody. Uh, just a matter of uh, getting another unit over on this side uh, to take this person in, and uh, we will see if they can get somebody over here. Yeah, yeah that's uh, talk about being nonchalant yeah. and walking really <laughs> on slowly the phone, and walking just slowly on the phone. and not looking the part. But that is the person. We are absolutely sure of it, and somebody is watching um, that, or at least watching us, and able to kind of pinpoint where this person is. Perhaps the other helicopter stayed on, oh, there, oh, there we they go. There we go. 
All right, so police now out. They don't even have their weapon drawn. They're just gonna walk right up to him. Yep. And if yep. he uh, cooperates here, it should be pretty easy. And it looks like he is cooperating. Yeah. yeah and appear disoriented or, or, or just He does weary. appear disoriented. Knows, yeah. Yeah. Could be under the influence, you never know. But they were not even, I mean, they really uh, were not concerned about him whatsoever. They walked right up to him. A little bit unusual there, to be honest with you. Just yeah. walked right up from behind him. And uh, he has stopped and he's giving himself up here. Yeah. Uh, but uh, all's well that ends well. I mean, they really uh, were able to end this one pretty peacefully here. And uh, nobody hurt, as I mentioned. Thank yeah. goodness, because that could have been a, a dangerous one. Chris Christie and Air 7 HD, as always, excellent job. And, and we appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Wrap that one up yeah. without a, a horrible tragedy. Thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. well, we're going to take a little time and talk, talk about the weather, because it's oh always goodness. been so cold the last few days. Is <laughs> it going to warm right. up at all? It is going to warm up a little bit, but not very much, Ellen. We're kind of in one of those situations where the Southern California is getting these cold air blasts, one right after the other. And this one has some wind with it. This is the next one.